All right, we're here with head coach Paul Thomas. Uh, 21 wins last season, which was the most since the 2000-2001 season, and 12 conference wins, most in almost 20 years, and a WNIT appearance last year. Uh, coach, how do you approach this season with last year's success? Well, first of all, we're very proud of last year's success, and uh, our team uh, did a really good job of building on each game and uh, each little triumph we had during the year. Uh, we are disappointed that we ended the season with uh, two losses, uh, but I think this team understands that we're going to be uh, the hunted a little bit more than the hunter this year, and we're preparing for that. Uh, the team has to make sure that they are uh, practicing harder, uh, practicing with a little bit more of a purpose. Our schedule has uh, been built up pretty good. We play four Pac-10 schools. Uh, we play two Big Ten schools. Uh, we go out and play a Big 12 school in Nebraska. We're at Drake. Uh, we're at Boise. Uh, so we uh, have built up our schedule, which is something that we want to try and do every single year. Sure. Uh, but we're going to have to be uh, we're going to have to be sharp this year to to reach that same goal of 20 wins, that magic number of 20 wins. Okay. Um, you're, returning, you're returning four starters. Uh, how will this team adjust to losing the uh, graduated John Tell Smith? Well, first of all, we're going to miss John Tell uh, very much so. I mean, when you're the all-time leading three-point scorer uh, in makes, and she was a threat out there, Mark. She was just a person that uh, you had to guard her. Whether she was on or off, you had to guard John Tell. And so that's going to be missed. And I don't think we have anybody right now that is that established person uh, mentally. We got a lot of people, Morgan Hatton, Kate Gaze, Jasmine Smith, John Tell's sister, that all can shoot the ball very well. Uh, but they haven't, they got to establish themselves. And uh, once they are consistent and can make shots out there on a consistent basis, uh, they can be that same threat as uh, John Tell was. Okay. Um. You touched a little bit on this year's schedule. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Maybe also uh, what we can expect from conference also? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I think the first thing a lot of people will notice about uh, this year's team is that we, I think we're a little bit deeper in our size. Uh, we just, uh, we, we look a lot better in the airport. We're going to look a lot better in the airport this year. Um, we have some bigger bodies. Uh, Luella has... Uh, you know, done a great job of strength building. Uh, you know, we have Andrea Bailey that uh, does a great job in the weight room. We've added Danielle Malden, uh, freshman from St. Mary's High School in Berkeley. Uh, so we have, we put an, a number of pieces together. Uh, Leanna Ritchie has, has done a great job. And so we, we're, I think we're bigger and stronger this year as a team. And so with that, uh, and going into that, you know, we put together a schedule that is uh, that will hopefully challenge our our uh, student athletes, and and I think that's the goal. And from the very beginning, since uh, since I was hired in 2006, it's always uh, one of my beliefs that you have to schedule so you can make the NCAA tournament as an at-large bid. Sure. Uh, not just count on that one or two or three games at the conference tournament to get you into the NCAA tournament. Uh, and I think we've done that. And I think we've built it up each and every year uh, so we can. If, I mean, if we take care of business, and you, you got to win games, of course, yeah. but if you uh, win those games, then we have a great chance of being an at-large team in the NCAA tournament. Okay. Uh, later this month, the team is volunteering with the Special Olympics. Can you talk a little bit about that? I can. Uh, we just uh, spoke to our team yesterday about the upcoming event, which is October 31st, Halloween, that we are going to host with our men's basketball program, uh, the Special Olympics here on our campus. Uh, last year we did it for the, for the first time that we were involved, and I think that was one of the most special days that our, that our team had. You know, working with the Special Olympics participants, it's just a, it's just a great way to give back. Uh, and I think our kids realize, our student athletes realize how privileged they are. One, to be at St. Mary's College, one, to be involved with athletics, uh, and another just to be 
in a helping situation where they get to help somebody and share experiences with somebody and share smiles with somebody. And uh, I think we're very excited for that. And all of our team is looking forward to, to sharing that day with uh, the Special Olympics people. Okay. Um, that's all I have. Uh, thanks, Paul, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. All right, Mark. Looking forward to it.